Hello everybody, what is up and welcome back to another episode of God of War. I don't know what episode we're up to, but the last episode I uploaded was episode 40, and that was all the way back in Musselheim, when I was still doing the Musselheim stuff. So yeah, that was still quite a ways away. Or uh, we're, st uh, yeah, I'm still quite a ways away from being caught up on uploads, but that's fine. Um, I haven't really been recording very much lately, especially I haven't really been recording like any Persona 4, but that's fine. I'm actually planning on starting to up, uh, start to upload another new series, um, but I'm going to do it co-op with my niece. This time, the commentary is not going to be awful like with Blanc. Blanc's commentary was terrible, and I almost want to redo it just because it was so terrible. Anyways, um, in the last episode, I really did not get much done. I teleported to one area. Didn't realize that when you teleport to an area, you kind of get, like, sealed in. It's sort of strange. When you use the gates to get to an area, it cuts you... Well, actually, maybe it was just because of the area I was in. Because this is the uh, beginning area. Oh man, it puts me right here. What the heck? Anyways, I had just found something that I could do finally, and it's over here, and as you can see, I need my Blades of Chaos to do it. Uh, ah, destroy! Alright, sweet. Yeah, in the last episode, I didn't get hardly shit done. I killed like, what, one? Maybe two rave uh, uh, of the uh, Eyes of Odin? And that was it. Oh shit, I didn't realize an enemy was spawning. Uh, my bad. Um, I wasn't even looking at who I was fighting. Uh, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful! Ow, you asshole. I don't like you. No, switch to my... Oh, fuck off! Kill him! And... Oh, that's right, I have to use my... Blades. Why does everything slow down? I was about to say, why did it slow down? I didn't use that one ability... That slows things down. Anyways... Those enemies were pretty tough. Sturdy sign of shadows. What is that about? What's over here? And you. What's with all these enemies over here? Oh, hey, look, it's one of those areas. And boom. And charge it up. And let's go ham. Wait, is there an enemy throwing shit at me? No? I thought there was for a second there. Alright. Blessing of Frost. Um. Should I go this way first or should I check this secret area out first? Let's check this secret area out first. Boom, right there. Where else? Oh, I was close. There. Oh. And there. Gotcha. <coughs> I was next to Mother's garden this whole time. No wonder we can never get in there. Well, no shit, boy. I didn't have the thing. Hidden chamber of Odin. Another hidden chamber. Anyways, I wonder what's here. Hopefully, another Valkyrie. Wait, I heard you. Is it the... Where is it? I hear it. I hear it. It's somewhere. It's nearby. Where? Ooh, hell. Um, anyway, so, recently, I mean, besides work, you know, I, I, that's, that seems to be, like, 
Yeah, that's like my main hobby in life. It's just working. You know, I work, 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 and I work some more. It, you know, I just, I love working. Anyways, but aside from working, I've been, uh, uh, oh, it wasn't an I voted. It was just this thing. Uh, besides that, you know, obviously I, I play games and I watch anime. So I've been playing a shit ton of Stardew Valley. And, um, recently I've been watching three different animes. Like, I'll watch, like, one episode a night of each of them. Um, something I can't figure out. what, boy? Like Does he? Already been there and seen it. So hasn't he already failed? It's a tricky thing, lad. He's <coughs> just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Oh, so he's trying to change gods. fate. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On That's that true. Brother, you and the old father may just agree. Yep. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind yeah, coming... me later to tell you about the wolves. Oh, yeah. Coming from freaking Kratos, who, you know, has literally killed the Sisters of Fate and c changed fate altogether. I don't think he can best fate, or he can beat fate and change Ragnarok, even though the Serpent's already been through it. Father doesn't think much of fate either. Another lie told by the gods, so th they have that in common. Alright, so, anyways, like I was saying, I've been watching like three different animes. I'll watch one episode a night. And, uh, basically, the first anime, uh, I'm, I'm watching that I, like, I watch them in order, too. So, I, I start with watching, uh, Laid Back Camp, which is a pretty nice, chill anime that, like the name entails, it's super laid back. Um, and it's just about girls who like going out and camping. Except for... Um, the thing is, it reminds me of when I was a kid, because I used to go camping when I was younger. Well, I mean, I didn't used to go camping by myself, obviously, but, like, I was in the Boy Scouts, so we would go camping, you know, sometimes. They would take us camping, and it was nice. I liked it. I liked the outdoors and nature and all that, and camping is nice, but, I mean, this anime is literally just purely them camping in Japan, Japan. Which seems to be slightly different from how it is, like, camping here in the States. I mean, obviously, the States are way larger than Japan, so there is that. What the heck? That sounded weird. Oh, there's enemies here. What the fuck? Why is there an enemy down here? Oh, 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 oh! This guy is tough! And he seems immune to a lot of this. Nope, he's dead. Okay, cool. So, anyway, so laid back camp is pretty good. I like it. It's a nice slice of life anime. It's chill, and, you know, there's, I don't, I don't really have any complaints. It has some funny moments, it's got nice dialogue, it's got good character interaction, it's just a good anime. Wait. What the hell? Is there another enemy? I don't know. Anyway, so it, it's good, I like it, I, I'll give it a thumbs up, you know. I, I recommend watching it. Um, the other anime I've been watching is, it, like, the next one I watch in order. Let me finish my thoughts before I start this fight. So the next one I watch is literally God Tier. I mean, it is so freaking good. Like, if you aren't watching okay. it, I highly, sure. highly suggest watching to your eternity. It is so good. Huh. It is amazing. I may want to write that down. What? Ah, a thief's testimony. Great. Um to the next poor fool to find this place. You'd be wiser to flee than to brave the dangers within. But count yourself lucky. I came before you to unwittingly free 
the prior occupant and die a fool in the process. I came for treasure and found only death in the wings. I tried to step out of the realm, but she wouldn't let go. It tore most terribly. The tree bleeds from my foolishness. Her magic will surely ri ripple through this realm for ages, tearing at its fabric. And for what? I'm dead, and she's escaped just the same. Why did I fight it? Fool, fool, fool. My only solace is her jailer, followed close behind to Moosebull. To Moosebull, it might have been, or Niflheim. Either way, she'll be caught, though they'll need, need a new prison. I've ruined this one. The Lindworm comes for me. What the? Huh? Holy shit, that's a lot to unpack. Like, holy frick. Who's this talking about? They freed somebody, but apparently they don't like them very much. <laughs> Anyways, um, the other anime I'm watching is To Your Eternity, which is so freaking good. It's so beautiful and so sad. I absolutely, like, you have to watch it. But, you know, don't blame me if you cry. It's it's so freaking heartbreaking. <laughs> like, right off the bat, too. Um, And then the next, the last anime I'm watching, has got to be probably the worst anime I've seen in a very long time. It is awful. And that is In Another World with My Smartphone. It is so bad. I don't like it. It's boring as hell. Oh man, how do I keep missing that? I I keep missing this because I'm thinking about a horrible anime. Gotcha. 39. Oh, we're getting there. We're so close. Just 12 more. Anyway, so basically. The plot of the anime is just like every other isekai anime so like here's the thing I have a lot of complaints about uh, about about it um, the main one being is that it literally oh shit I wasn't paying attention the main one being is that it uses too many different anime tropes uh, like, it uses literally every single stereotypical anime trope. Alright, get him, get him, get him. This one's the annoying one. I can't stay locked onto her. It's okay, boy. So, yeah, basically this anime uses every single anime freaking stereotypical trope you could think of. The main character basically gets a harem. Every single girl that goes around him just... What the fuck? How did I die? Die. Gotcha. Alright, cool. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know how I died there, though. What is this? Flawless Crest of Realm. Ooh, nice. Alright, so it was just a realm tear. Ooh, pure essence of realms. Ooh, nice. Dust of Realms. And Heart of Savartalfheim. Ooh. It's a very small t amount of constant health regeneration. Oh, <gasps> this is so good. Yeah, I do too. Holy shit. That was so good. Where is it? It's the... Where is it at? It's here? Oh, no, no, this is not it. Where is it? It's in here? Is this it? Where is that? Where is that thing? No, it's... Isn't it something that I equip? Oh, 
Oh yeah, uh, no, 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 this isn't it, but this is also pretty nice. This flawless crest of realm. Oh, I don't really need the sprinting speed anymore anyways. Um. Ooh, this one, this one's good. It decreases my luck by three, but it increases my runic, which is fine. But that's so good. It actually is worse than what I had though, apparently. Uh. Uh. Okay. What does this one do? A health burst. Um, no, that's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll go with that. So yeah, anyway, so uh the smartphone eSky it does nothing to set itself apart from any other anime, like, any other Isekai anime. And it does literally every single, like, trope that every other Isekai anime does. The only thing that sets it apart is just the pure fact that, well, he has a smartphone. And that's it. A magical smartphone. Not only that, but, like, freaking, the whole entire backstory is so dumb. The main character gets killed by God, who acts like a freaking hippie. Um, and then this God is basically like, I'll send you to another world since I accidentally killed you by sh shooting you with lightning bolts that I was just playing around with or whatever. It's like, what? What kind of God is this? And then second of all, he just sends him straight into this other world. Doesn't reincarnate him. Nope. He just poofs him into the world with it, his clothes still on his back and he didn't even have any injuries or anything from being shot by the lightning bolt because I guess you know when he was before God he was in his pure true form or whatever but he still had his school uniform on I don't know it's weird so he gets to this other world and he automatically like right out the gate instantaneously Found gets two two girls to f start following him and then quickly after a third girl and by the fourth episode he ends up um basically being engaged to like despite having a harem he ends up being engaged to a 12 or no no, no not 12 year old 10 year old girl yeah i hate it i absolutely despise it and uh so yeah did I do everything here now? Oh yeah, I've 100 percented this. I still have not 100 percented the river pass though. But I don't feel like I have to. As especially since the only things I'm missing is just two artifacts and a Nornier chest. But yeah. And then like the main character is super boring. There's nothing interesting about him. He's so bland. He's just like a generic, normal, nice guy. And nothing else. Nothing else interesting. What the heck is this? Wait, what is with this area? Is something special supposed to happen here? Am I missing something? Or was this where I fought What's-His-Face? I don't know. I don't get it. What's the point? Alright, well, this area is seemingly pointless. No, wait. There's something right there. Aha! Glad I found it. So, yeah, MC is super boring. And same with the uh, the other characters. All the other characters are just so boring. Like, they don't really do much of anything. They don't... There's nothing that really sets any of them apart either. Like, besides their looks. I mean... And... And they're... I don't know. Their character designs are okay. It's just... There's nothing interesting about them. At all. There's no... There's no intrigue in this anime. In, uh... Freaking what I'm watching in uh, I can't even remember what it's called. Oh, yeah, smartphone East guy. Yeah, there's there's no intrigue to it either. It somehow it, it somehow manages to be, you know, super, super boring 
with like almost no plot and at the same time it it also irritates me because of all of its many stupid things that it has that it does oh how do you get I know how to do it there we go yeah, there's so many just like stupid illogical things that happen and then not only that but like on the last episode I was watching it was like there was one scene where he was just like flirting with all of his uh, you know harem girls and then like it it flashes to the next scene and all of a sudden he's just summoning some divine creature and it's like wait what when was this discussed or talked about it wasn't I, I had to look back and it literally wasn't it was never ever once shown or discussed or talked about am I still in the freaking wild woods there's nothing else to do here I need to get out of here why am I still exploring around it's like the way me and Atreus went right no not really because I feel like I haven't been here before oh wait I have because this is one of the things we opened I'm just following along the same pathway we went on when we were at the beginning of the game. Wasn't there a part though where Kratos was chasing after Atreus? Okay. What good does that do me? I have no clue. I don't know. I need to get out of this area though. It's wasting all my time. What does this even lead to? What the heck? Oh, this leads to here. Huh. What does this lead to? Alright, give me back my axe. Fly through everything. <laughs> it's just like Kratos holds his hand out for his axe. I think I saw a meme like that. Where Kratos holds his hand out for an axe and it just it come, comes flying. And it's just like flying through everything. Oh yeah, that's right. It hits the freaking... The the cabbage cart from the guy from Avatar The Last Airbender. Who's like, my cabbages! Oh man, that guy is hilarious. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. <clears throat> his cabbages always get destroyed. How do I get back? This place is so confusing. I'm lost. Help me, boy. Boy, help me, I'm lost. Um, Dad, you're fine. What the heck even... Dude. Oh, oh, I think this is the way back. Yes, this is the way back. Is it? Well, it takes me way far down. This takes me, like, practically underground. Where am I? I am so lost right now. This does not take me back. How do I get out of here? Guys, I'm lost. I might have to end this episode off and be like, okay, well, I'll, I'll find my way out and then meet you guys in the next episode. But of course, uh, I don't know. How the fuck, where do I go? Just want to get out of here. Uh, I'm not near the edge. All right, so let's stay away from the edge, boy. Okay, I guess now I gotta go back. Cause this wasn't the right way to go. Is this the right way to go to get back to my camp? Sight. this uh, perk or I mean the, I love this runic attack this ice blessing is so good all right let's return back home back home in West Midgard 
<laughs> um, Ace your mama, take me home to the place where I belong. Is this also leading back to where I need to go? I'm not lost. I know these woods. See, look, this is the entrance. We got back home. All right, I'm gonna freaking warp somewhere else. <coughs> Since you know I 100 percent of this area, and once again spent the whole entire episode doing so. Dang it. So I should have just took in this freaking mystical gate. What about over here, if off near storeroom? I don't know if there's anything else there either. Dang, and you can't, I can't tell on this map screen. I should have looked. You know what? What if I, what if I just go to Brock Shop first? Yeah, I'll go to Brock Shop and I'm gonna call it quits for this episode. And then uh, in the next episode, I'll figure out where to go. I'll figure out where to go next before the next episode. But first, we get to hear more tales from Mimir, right? Are you gonna talk about something? No? No Mimir story? Weren't you gonna tell us about the wolves? I wanted to hear about, I wanted to hear about the wolves. Oh, that reminds me, I'm gonna have to also go back to like, you know, I'm gonna have to go back to the other uh, realms too. Well, except for uh, Muspelheim. I don't have to go back there. I only. What the heck was that? Where'd my son go? Oh, there he is. There it is, finally. Yeah, I don't have to go back to Muspelheim, but I can go back to. Uh... Here, let me check. Uh, no, not what I meant to check. I could probably go back to Alfheim. There's still one more raven there. I have no clue where it's at. But there's still a lot of things I haven't done there. There's like two undiscovered things. One of them, hopefully, is a Valkyrie. Um, There's still one more artifact I haven't found. And then, yeah, that Eye of Odin. And that's it. Um, oh, yeah. I do got to go back into Helheim, though, for sure. There was definitely stuff that we could have done there with uh, Atreus. And... Yeah, man, I only found half of the Eyes of Odin there, too. That would really help if I got the Eyes of Odin in these other two realms. It would also be really nice if I could unlock another realm. But I don't know where the other freaking things for Niflheim is, or whatever. Or, I mean, not Niflheim. Or, actually, yeah, I think it is Niflheim I'm trying to unlock. Okay, so, uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think I should do next. Not that this video will be coming out for way, way too long for this question to matter, so I probably shouldn't ask this. Okay, um, new question then. What, oh, fuck, god damn, I was gonna say the same exact thing. Uh, well, whatever. Um. Okay, what do you guys like to do first when you're trying 100% a game? You know, what do you focus on first in this game? Um, Alright, so be sure to give this video a thumbs up and, you know, there sure is a lot to comment see something in my YouTube channel on the video. And uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to me at YouTube.com. I am Robert LPs, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!